welcome to another game in which I play Ezreal AD Carry. So, we are playing Ezreal and Nunu versus a Cogmore Sona lane in bot lane. Uh, we're playing Diana in the jungle versus a Jax jungle. We have Nidalee mid versus a Fizz and a Wukong top versus a Aurelia. So, the first impressions from this is they have a very carry oriented team from Cogmore, Fizz, Cho um, Aurelia and Jax. So we we don't really want to get them fed. We have a very poke team with Ezreal, Diana and Nidalee. We also have a pretty good team fight with Nunu, Diana, Ezreal and Wukong. So we feel confident both in, bot in the early game and in the late game. This is a duo queue I played with my friend who plays Wukong in this game. So we will jump in and see how this goes. So, I start with the normal stuff, boots, three pots, so does the rest of my team, but my support who starts with a fairy charm. We um, get ready, prepare ourselves just in case of invade, like we should. I go off and take uh, golems with my Nunu, take them relatively quickly, that big one bugs a little bit, but fine, whatever. So, I go off, I farm, uh, Nunu starts with blue foil, and we basically, at first, we just sit back, we basically poke a little bit here and there, we, we farm. But we know that they've got sustain, so we try to not do too much, um, but Nunu keeps trying stuff. Uh, Wukong dies early, sadly, to Jax. Bit, bit annoying, but oh well. So, we're feeling confident down here. Uh, they have sustain, we don't, but in the end, still a pretty strong lane. Diana comes down, we could have killed Cogmore, but Diana missed her E. So, she backs off, or is planning on it, but keeps getting poked, and just in the end, walks off to take jungle. And then, Fizz comes down, we back off, because, yeah, we don't really want to fight him, that would be bad, especially since Nidalee didn't move, I think it was because she was being pushed, which is fine, whatever. So, me and Nunu go back, I get double Doran's blades, uh, to help me poke and for a bit of sustain. I keep poking, we ward up, and I, I try to push them back so that hopefully Pokemon misses out a bit of farm, but it doesn't work because he, he, notices, he, he pushes it back really fast, which is fine, whatever. Uh, at this point, Cogmore is beating me in last hits, but I only because I had to go back early. Um, Cogmore still hasn't been back yet, which is why he's ahead of me in farm. Which is fine. Um, I keep focusing on just farming down here. They they go back, try to catch Sona, she ults me, and Nunu, fine. Okay, so they haven't got the ult when um, she comes back. Which is fine, because it allows me to just focus on farming. And then I keep poking, I keep farming, and in general, it's pretty feasible down here, to be honest. I go back, I buy Zerka Greaves and a Ruby Crystal towards my Phage for my Trinity Force. And then we go over here, we have a little engagement, kill off one of their wards, um, we get pushed a little bit, we take a bit more damage from the light, and then we farm. Uh, I push it back. Diana comes down for the gank. Jax comes in, kills well, sadly my Nunu. Bit annoying. Jax is uh, currently getting relatively fed. Diana kills off a ward. Um, Pokemon tries to kill me, I flash away, and then I'm, I am I want to farm, but I know I can't. Jax is there trying to catch us, goes for our gold, and we catch him, and we kill him. And then we back off, because me, Diana, are both low, but there's a lot of farm here, so I decide probably best if I try and get, get all this farm. Pokemon then tries to catch me, I just walk away. Nunu ults him to keep him off me, and then I back. I then buy a longsword towards my phage, wait a couple of seconds, fire an ult, so I can get one minion for a phage. Oh yes. One ult, one minion, one... Eight, 18 far, uh, gold in total. Yep, that got me a phage. <laughs> well worth it, in my opinion. So, come back in lane. Uh, I know Sona's there, so I, I poke her a little bit, and then Pokemon pokes me, and I take a bit more damage than I would have liked. Then Nidalee comes to try something, 
and so does Diana, and we're like, okay, so pretty confident. Hope Diana goes in. He's then I kill Sona, and then Nidalee kills Cogmol. Perfect content with that. Yes. I come out pretty low at the end of it, and then we back off from Dragon, because Jax is there. Jax is a little bit fed, so we, we don't really want to risk an engagement with him. So we just back off. I go back to bot lane, kill a ward quickly, and go back to farming. Nidalee kills Fizz in lane, which is quite well. I then kill Sona. I then also kill Cogmol. So I'm getting fed now. I, I'm, I'm content with this, and it's good for us as a team. I go off and I take red buff, I then take golden very quickly. We feel that they might be going dragon, maybe, but they don't. And then I try to catch Sona out, but die. And it, the reason I died was because my team didn't react soon enough. But in the end, we came out quite far ahead, and we're fine with that. And then out of that we actually because of it we came ahead but we we lost the dragon which is a bit irritating so but oh well it's fine um i go back to farming bot lane poking as much as i can i have my phage and a vampire scepter now so i can definitely survive the poke and i just focus on farming pretty much cogmore doesn't really do anything at this point he doesn't poke me or anything which is really surprising because he really should um he then tries poking just then but that's about it. He doesn't even try to find me with ulti uh, shots. We then catch out Cogmore. He gets a bit greedy. Kill him. And yeah. I, I'm getting quite fed at this point. I'm 5 one, 4 So we sit here. We I focus on my farming. I'm now currently... I'm still behind Cogmore in farm. Even though he keeps dying. And it's because I'm not always in lane farming at the moment. I keep wandering off having to fight around Dragon and stuff. And then that one death really... I, I missed out on a lot of farm because of me dying. And uh, I'm trying to kill Sonic. But oh well, so I go off, I take red buff. I then come over here, catch out Sonic, we kill her. Perfectly content with this. Push bottom. As quickly as I can. Catch Aurelia out, get her to flash. I then try to bait both these two, because I can, and sadly my team didn't respond quick enough so we didn't get a kill out of it, but oh well, it was worth a shot anyway. So, feeling happy, they know that we're here, I know that they know that we're here, because I saw them put that on the ward earlier. So, I basically sit back, keep poking, we, we basically, we poke at first and then we engage. But Jax tries going on me, I E away from him, Aurelia goes on me. I then flash away and suddenly she can't chase me. I'm still alive at this point. I fire off cues constantly. My team keeps chasing me down. Nidalee goes off, kills Cogmore. And then I E over here, kill Sona. Yes. Feeling really good about that. So, they drag him really quickly. We then push over here. We get this last bit of farming over and with. And I push this tower a little bit. Or maybe I'll push it. No, I'll push it and then take the farm and back. I have my Trinity Force at this point. I now have a Bloodthirster. Oh, yes. I love having a Bloodthirster. So I start stacking that up. And then we wander around here, make sure that there's no wards around the Baron, make sure that we've got wards on it. I E over the wall by accident here and get caught by it. Really bad by me. But oh well. So in the end. We we fell behind there, sadly, and it was all my fault. I eed over the wall into Aurelia, and then, yeah, I had no way of escaping it. So, we lost that fight because of me. That was all because of me. Kind of painful, irritating, but it was, I I don't know, I think I misclicked. Uh, when I meant to click W, and then I clicked E by accident. Smart cast. It, it can get killed sometimes, but oh well. Anyway, so, I, I go back to just poking. Um, and we just keep poking them, because we know that if we just poke them, we can probably win the fight. And then we have an ill engagement here, we kill Aurelia, we, we kill Sona, we kill Jax. Oh yes, really content with that. We then take this, we take the inhib, and we're feeling pretty strong at this point. So, 
We then go to a pier, take Dragon. I then back off. I get a Last Whisper so that I can kill um, Jax, who has a bit of armor, and Aurelia, who has a little bit of armor now. We then catch out Aurelia, and Fizz, kill them, kill Jax. And yeah, the Aurelia jumped onto Nidalee, and it didn't go so well. We get Baron, perfectly content with this. We're feeling very pleased. I'm starting to build up for my GA now. So, I'm like, okay, let's try something. I try to steal a rare, the red's not there. I then rush down to get my red buff. And then we try to steal their blue, the blue's not there. And then we go over here, have a look at the Nearly, nearly, nearly kill Fizz, but kill Pokemon in the end instead. And then we're pushing here for the win. Oh, try to do anyway. And then I nearly die. I then get ignored. I use Life Steel Minions. Kill Jax. Aurelia. No, we don't kill Jax. Jax gets away. But we kill Aurelia. We kill Fizz. We then end up killing the Hib again. And it's like, yeah, it's GG at this point. And we we felt we played well this game. And it was a good game. We really, I enjoyed playing this game. So did my friend. Even though he didn't do amazingly in the top lane. He did his job in the team fights and became my bodyguard and we were perfectly content with this game. So yeah, it was a 